Ah! Has anyone seen my peace sign earrings? The last I remember was lending them to Mimi at Halloween. I put them back. Are you sure? I thought I saw you wearing them last week. Yeah, same here. Excuse me, I think I would have remembered. Mimi, if you've been using your mother's earrings... Wait a minute. Whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty? Welcome, class, to our annual school beautification day. Brock and Lodeman, you'll be on litter detail. Cool, because we definitely create the best litter. Um, aren't you supposed to pick up the litter? Oh, yeah, right. Hey, what we got? <laughs> Sincerity and Haley, you'll be helping redecorate Principal Earl's office. Great! I could call my mother's decorators. Russell, you're on floor washing duty. No problem. <laughs> Mimi and Elaine, there is a section of the gym that will need repainting. Thanks, Miss Grunstone. Ah! Way to go! Sorry, Herbert. And Herbert, your first job will be to clean yourself up. <laughs> First, we get rid of all the horrible furniture and plants. Then, we redo all the walls in pictures of Paris. Russell Van Eden, what is the meaning of this? But, Miss Grindstone, I... I... Don't tell me he didn't believe you. He didn't believe me. I got a thousand years of after-school detentions. A thousand years? You'll be dead before you're finished. was an injustice, this is it. Somebody has to get to the truth, and Mimi's got a plan. Miss <laughs> Grindstone, Russell is innocent. He didn't vandalize Principal Earl's picture, and I'd like to prove it. Keep talking. We're just starting to learn about law in class. Why not let some of us students create a peer court to get at the truth? And your role would be... Russell's defense attorney, of course. And I could be the prosecution. Well, the students might learn a thing or two. I would have to be the judge, of course. But I was thinking more like... Fine. It's settled then. The two of you have three days to prepare your case and may the best side win. Remember, no fidgeting. Right. No fidgeting. And always look the jury straight in the eye. Oh, this is hopeless. Why don't I just confess and get it over with? Because you're innocent, remember? But they don't know that. Russell, would you stop being so nervous? Okay, I won't be nervous. No more nervous. Forget nervous. <laughs> This court is now in session. The case, Starfish Bay School versus Russell Van Eden. How does the accused plead? Russell, would you quit acting so guilty? <laughs> How do you plead? Your Honor, I... According to Exhibit A, the janitor's report, the substance found on the floor at the scene of the crime was ketchup. Mr. Wickersham, what can you tell this court about the accused and ketchup? 
On several occasions, I saw Russell use more than one package of ketchup on his french fries. I have also seen him take additional packages of ketchup home for future use. Your Honor, this proves that Russell had the means, namely ketchup, to perform this crime. I remember a few weeks ago, Principal Earl and Russell had an argument. your honor that Russell also had the motivation to vandalize Principal Earl's picture. The day of the crime, Russell was the only dude working by himself. And since there were no witnesses, he had the perfect opportunity to deface Principal Earl's picture. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the accused not only had the means, but the motivation and the opportunity to commit this crime. I rest my case. And my legs. Miss <sighs> Petuskin, as a close friend of the accused, how would you characterize Russell? Russell is gentle, quiet, and honest. Unlike some people I know. Objection, Your Honor. This is obviously a hostile witness. Not as hostile as I'm going to be unless you sit down, Ms. Travers. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Morton, if Russell was guilty, why would he hang around to clean up the mess, knowing full well that someone might see him? Good point. I know I wouldn't have. And why were there no empty ketchup containers at the scene of the crime? I don't know, Counselor. And why would Russell be surprised when Miss Grindstone pointed out the vandalized picture if he in fact was the one who did it? Another good point. Ladies and gentlemen, there are too many unanswered questions. And since my client is innocent until proven guilty, I suggest this case be thrown out immediately. The defense rests. Woo! Yeah! 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 The jury will now retire to the lunchroom to come up with a verdict. Members of the jury, have you reached a decision? We have, Your Honor. We find the defendant, Russell Van Eden, to be... Hold everything! I got the official lab report! The stain on the floor was ketchup! But the stuff on Principal Earl's picture was definitely red paint! <gasps> Wait a minute! You were using red paint on the gymnasium stage! Yeah, but... but... There's something else! The day Russell was caught, the paint on that picture was already three days old! Now hold on here. I remember lending the supply room key to someone three days earlier. And if I'm not mistaken... Sincerity, Travers! It was you that vandalized the picture! Oh, it was an accident. I ran out of red nail polish before a football game. What was I supposed to do? I was head cheerleader. I couldn't be late, so I asked Miss Grindstone for the key and I got the paint. Before I knew it, the picture was ruined. <laughs> But it was kind of funny. I couldn't rub it off, so I hid the picture in the supply closet until I could figure out what to do. That explains why your toenails are covered in masking tape. To hide the red paint. And the reason you volunteered as Russell's prosecution. Proving Russell guilty meant you'd get off scot-free. <laughs> Bravo, Mimi! A wonderful defense. As for you, young lady, there is still one cleaning job left, and you'll be doing it. The bathrooms. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> 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 
filter. Two weeks of work. I'm going to be the first kid ever to win this game. Ah! Ah, what happened? Don't you realize this is the kind of thing that causes fires? Ah! Basement debris thrown out. Check. Electrical outlets inspected. Check. Fire escape routes marked. Check. Mimi Morton gone bananas. Check. Very funny. Just because you aren't as fire conscious as me. Mimi, nobody's as fire conscious as you. You're completely obsessed. That's because this week is Fire Safety Week. The Starfish Bay Fire Department will be giving their annual school demonstration and a contest for two lucky students, namely you and me, to spend an entire weekend at the fire station. And what makes you think we'll win? Because we're the best qualified. Check it out. Wow, where did you get all this stuff? Remember the fire on the dock last year? And the one at the fish and chip place? Yeah. They're all here, along with the people who helped put them out. Bradley got that for Christmas. I traded him for a pair of blades. And this? That's Sparky the fire cat. Actually, it's Wimbledon with a little makeup. I never would have guessed. Elaine, firefighting is in my blood. It's exciting, romantic, courageous. You still haven't told me how we're going to win the contest. Mimi's got a plan. One Starfish Bay Firefighter's Manual, plus a secret video of last year's competition. <laughs> Not so fast. Nobody feasts their eyes on Travis until I say so. Isn't he amazing? <laughs> Imagine me spending the whole weekend at the fire station with Travis. Oh, and Haley, you can be my assistant if you'd like. So, Stay alert, be in good shape, and know your equipment. Because the most important thing about firefighting is being prepared. Right, Travis? Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right, Cindy. <laughs> okay, time for the contest. There are two parts. Physical skill and knowledge of fire safety. So everyone, line up in their rows. Morton, it's not like you're gonna win. Don't be so sure, Travers. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> Give it up, Morton. Ready? Oh. 
two, fire safety quiz. I knew it! They're taken right out of the firefighter's manual. Okay, thanks to two near-perfect scores on their quizzes, our overall winners are Mimi Morton and Elaine Patuskin. And this is not over yet. And congratulations to our two winners in the Fire Awareness Week competition. Mimi Morton and Sincerity Travers will be spending an entire weekend at the fire station. Huh? I had no choice. In third grade, Sincerity lent me a quarter to buy my first rabbit. I'd promised to pay her back with interest, but I guess I forgot. Now I owe her almost a hundred dollars. She says she'll forget about the debt if I give her my place at the fire station. Sincerity, Travers! How could you do it? That is so mean! I know. But a person in love will do anything. <sighs> is he here yet? Have you seen him? Who? Rivas, of course. Hi, you must be Mimi. Welcome to the fire station. I was wondering, have you guys got a mascot? Uh, nope. Great. This is Wimbledon, also known as Sparky the Fire.